Just because it's October doesn't mean you have to act like a zombie and keep going to a job that you don't like. Now's the time to see the road ahead as a pandemic teaches us certain change can be very good for you. Take notes because it's time to pivot into something great. Sacramento author and career development coach Helen Horiza joins us live to share her thoughts on finding the career that fits you perfectly. Hi, Helen. Thanks for being here. Hi, great to be here. So explain first what it means to create a career that's a perfect fit. Well, it's a, it's a big job and it's doable. That's the most important thing to know. Uh, it absolutely starts with knowing what your natural talents are, what your values are, the skills you enjoy using, what you're interested in. Uh, looking at you really carefully is where you start. So what are some of the benefits when you can find that right career? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. The benefits when you find the right career? Oh my gosh, you know, you know how that feels and I know how that feels, thank goodness. Uh, it's, a, it's a sense of um, fulfillment and a sense of centeredness and it's a sense of security because um, your career pays for everything else in your life. Yeah, that is definitely true. So where do you start? What is the first step to finding a rewarding career? Well, the first step is what I call a period of focused introspection because especially in these difficult times, a lot of people are losing their career um, not by choice. And so the first thing they tend to do, understandably, is panic. And what I want you to do is actually calm down enough because the emotions will cloud your judgment. And then do a, a career self-assessment. And then I want you to start moving forward to find out what your options are. Well, you do coaching and you help people kind of find these careers. How do you find them, help them identify their passions? The very first thing that I do is I listen a lot because people know way more about what they want than they're aware of. They're not, they're not hiding from it, but it, it can be elusive, you know, and talking to somebody who really listens, I might say something and they just look at me like, you're right, I've always felt that way. It's like, well, maybe we should follow that trail. So a lot of what I do is listen and then I provide a structured process. I explain a model of career transition. I provide a career assessment, and then I help them with job search. Well, tell me more about the career assessment. It's called the Elevation Career Assessment. It, it's called Elevations, really close. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so my feeling is that you need a comprehensive platform. Uh, a career assessment is not test. I'm sorry to say there is no test on the planet that will tell you what you should do with your life because it's too complicated for that. But what Elevations does is it clarifies what's important to you as a person, what you enjoy doing, which gives you energy, what your interests are, and then it wraps it into a temperament profile. So it validates and it clarifies the direction you need to go. And everyone has different talents and, and you can actually help people figure out what their unique talents are. You can help them assess that. Yes, I, I like to call it your talent suitcase. <laughs> um, and yeah, I know, and a lot of times people don't look in there. They're, they're, they're looking everywhere else. They're looking at the job sites. They're looking at their resumes. And what I help them do is I help them look inside their, their talent suitcase and really get um, clear about what they are um, strong at and what they've always had a pattern of interest in. And what I do is I validate um, what the assessment says, what they know, and then I, I tell them, and those combinations tend to give you the confidence to move, move forward. And I'm sure once they take these tests, I mean, they're really getting a good look at themselves and, try, and trying to figure out where their passions are, what they want to do. And you write about all of this in, in your book, Elevate Your Career. Can you tell us what else we can find in your book? Yeah, it's a lot like working with me as your career coach. Um, I, the foundation of the book is what's called the Elevate Career Cycle. And so it explains that you usually start in a place of anxiety and how you move through a journey of self-discovery and how you contract with your new future to find your home. That's kind of the um, nickel tour of the Elevate Career Cycle. And then throughout the book, while I teach you how to make that career change, I also provide stories of real life clients and who illustrate how that can be done. So it's, I've been told it's really readable, it's uplifting and it's practical. Is, I'm, I'm assuming you've had a lot of success with this. You definitely sound like you know what you're talking about um, when you identify passions in this career. Um, when is the right time? Is now the right time for folks to go out there and, and find
find that career that's right for them? I wish I could give you a definitive answer. Uh, uh, over the years, people have often come to me and said, please provide me with something that will be secure and tell me it's going to work out. And um, I would say that it's the right time for somebody who has a clear vision of what they want to do. It's been burning and they have a runway. Some of us have gotten a runway for a variety of reasons during the pandemic labor market. That is somebody who should be going fast. If you're in um, a really unstable situation and you're worried about your livelihood, you're probably gonna have to make some sacrifices in the short term. But what I would say is don't give up on the long term. Just do what you need to do now, but don't, don't lose sight of your long term goals. Very good advice. Well, always have that plan. And if you're ready for the career you've always dreamed of, you can head on over to check out elevateyourcareer.com to make a change and pursue your dream job.